Alright. What a weird ass command. But sure. What have we here? You weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. Still, even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm, and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. The name on your chest, are you a dog? No, I don't think so. What happened to your voice? I'm the voice of reason. I sleep sometimes. Down in the basement. In the cage. Now that I'm awake, Dog goes back in the cage. Dog knows I'm here, but can't do anything about it. I'm his... conscience. Keep him tame. Keep him from hurting us. Doing foolish things. I've been trapped in here for some time. Then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. So, he has a split personality. Yeah, see, multiple personalities are and some trauma caused this. I'm in Super Mutants, brain damage is usually the result of prolonged stealth boy use. Ah! <laughs> I guess both could work. That's the easy explanation. The one humans use. Pre-war technology. As if it's the cause of all ills, mind and body. I needed to come out of the cage to protect Dog. From clever humans. Like you. Do you see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind Dog. him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me. When all I try to do... <sighs> he cuts, hurts, and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed. Just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages, like the ones here. Ah! <laughs> uh, if you weren't expecting me, who are you waiting for? Don't play stupid. I already have to mind one child. You must have figured it out by now. The old uh. man obsessed with the Sierra Madre, riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. You're the same kind of greed. Followed the radio, the broadcast, and now you're here, all confused. Not for long. You'll figure it out. Why do you say I'm the same as the old man? You're not him any more than I'm Dog. But that collar around your neck, you're an extension of the old man's grasp. Clumsy, perhaps, but a tool, yes. And once you get acclimated to the Sierra Madre, then you'll feel the same overpowering hunger the old man does. And then you'll be him, not just his hand. So you're the one who knows how I got to the villa? Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen, down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise, and then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then, then Dog comes for you drags you here. Ah, so what he's trying to say is that Dog follows the orders of the old man, but he doesn't. He 
actually is, if he was actually not in his cage mentally, he probably wouldn't even listen to the old man. But I think every time the old man talks, which is Eliza, dog comes out and he gets put back into the cage. It's kind of weird. Like, I, I'm not really sure how this works. It's not normal sp split personality disorder here. This old man, what do you know about him? Elijah. Human. Weak like all of you are. Feeling age circling him like starved dogs, howling for blood. To me, he reeks of age and failure. And madness. To me, he is simply the old man. To dog, he is master. His name, meaningless. Running out of years, hopes and dreams running through his withered hands like sand from the big empty and scorched by the sun. Scorched by the sun? The old man, this Elijah, tried to hold the sun in his hands. Arrogance was cast down for it. Icarus' crime was to fly too high. Elijah... Elijah wanted to bring the sun down to him. <laughs> Arrogance. <laughs> so he wants to bring glory to himself, maybe? I thought Elijah only came to this area because he's searching for weapons and technology. Uh, I don't... I, I mean, I... But, but you know what? Elijah does suffer the same issues as, you know... The other Dark Brotherhood... Not Dark Brotherhood, fucking Christ Almighty. Uh, the Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> God damn it, it's because of the Brotherhood there. I keep getting fucking uh, confused. Yeah, so he suffers the same problem at the core as the other Brotherhood of Steel people. Hoarders of technology! Because they only want more tech, 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 tech. They go batshit insane. And if I recall correctly, I think back at the, the Big MT, they talk about how... Um, I think Elijah was suffering from Mentat's, um, uh, addiction. Like, he was popping those things like they were fucking grapes. It was ridiculous. Alright. I need to get you out of there. No. No, I don't think so. Even in here, I have more control than you do. I'm not leaving until the one who controls the collars shows. Not his voice, not his hand, not his lackey. Him. And when he comes to see me, we'll settle things. So go on. Go back to your master. Tell him I'm waiting for him. Dog may follow him. I won't. If you don't call with me, he'll set off our collars, yours and mine. Then I still win. I'd rather die in this cell than have Dog follow him any longer. Follow his orders, his commands, desperate for recognition. The old man, he has the need to hold on to the past, to the madre. I'd rather be free, let go of this shell, than have it cage me any longer. I want my freedom too. You think I, I like having this collar on me? They all wanted their freedom at first. Then, they realized they could get inside the Sierra Madre. After that, their freedom wasn't important anymore. They couldn't let go, just like the old man. So you say you want your freedom. No. Even if you feel that way, it won't last. You'll forget, get greed blind. And you'll turn. Sounds like Dog might be more willing to get out of the cage than you. I could order Dog to come with me. I bet he'd obey. <laughs> dog? You're not talking to him now, are you? No. Even if you could drag Dog out of his cage, you still couldn't get him out of this cage. I put him here for a reason. If he could have escaped, he would have. So here he stays. I can't leave until we get through this. Of course you can't. This cage is locked tight. From you and the old man.
You wouldn't have locked yourself in there without some sort of key to let you out. The key? Why, it's the old man. The one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up so he and I can talk. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well, he would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that. Come on, Muffy, go up there, come on. Uh, if you have the key in there, the old man can order Dog to open the cage. Those radios you were using them for... These radios, were you using them for signal interference? They were here when I arrived. So I made use of them, in a manner of speaking. Hmm. More their voices, really. These collars, they don't just track us. You can eavesdrop on them as well. Tune to a frequency, and you can hear everything someone is saying. Really? So perhaps it's a good thing that Dog swallowed his collar. Anyone listening would find it difficult to hear past the digestion. What? He swallowed his collar? <laughs> You're blocking the eavesdropping with the alarm outside too? Nice. Very good. Yes. It's another layer of white noise to ensure privacy. Unfortunately, it's also acted as a dinner bell for the residents. Yeah, as long as the holographic greeter outside is active, however, I can get by them. The holograms fascinate them. Ghost worship, perhaps. It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things. Needs to think before he eats chew before he swallows he's eager that way now he the collar's a fun. part of me inside i can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below like before it was cold and heavy before going in the cage now you're here and it's pulling and kicking again tugging like a leash Interesting. <laughs> if the call is inside, if the call inside you is active, I didn't switch it on. Really? Yet it led you here to me, and now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. How the hell did you or whoever eat one of those collars? They detach. When segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. And if they're attached to neck flesh, warm, red, dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog Damn. can't help himself. Hungry, greedy. And now the collar's inside, alive again. And we're trapped here until it goes cold. I, if I said that, I wonder if that's going to cause an issue, though. As if I had a choice. Sometimes instinct takes over, and that's when I go into the cage. It's like curiosity that way. After all, you wouldn't have put that collar on by choice. Perhaps it was your curiosity that caused that hand to close on your neck. The key's in there with you and Dog. <laughs> yes, but Dog doesn't know that. We don't share everything. Sometimes it's a blessing. Sometimes it causes difficulties. Now I think it's a blessing. 
It keeps you on that side of the cage. Now, <sighs> you go fetch. Find your master. Bring him here so we can talk. I'm not... Damn it! Yes, you could. And once he was out, all starving and hungry, what do you think he would do then? Be careful what cage you open, because he won't go back in it without a fight. He'll tear you apart. He won't care if it kills you both. If he hears the old man's voice, he'll do what the old man says. Dog obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? I can play his voice, yes. I have an audio log from him on my Pip-Boy. You... don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage. End you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... Calm down, follow me willingly and I won't do it. No, you wouldn't. If you did, you won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No. I'll leave you breathing, then keep walking until my collar goes cold. I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre so you can see what you came to steal. Forever out of reach as you die. I can't convince you I'm not here for the Sierra Madre or the old man, so I'll prove it. Prove it? How? Words are worthless. I have the power to let Dog out of his cage. I'm going to prove it by not doing it. Hmm. No. No, you're not. Even though Dog's more docile, easier to control. You may regret this. This place. This place is where creatures like Dog can survive. The people that fill its streets. He is as vicious, more vicious than them. His hunger can help you more than I can. When I am in control, this shell is difficult to fight in. What do you mean? The inhabitants of the villa, they are difficult to kill. They need to be chopped apart, hacked on the ground, disintegrated if you can. They are difficult to kill, but not to devour. And Dog is always hungry. If he is with you when they fall, he will fall on them, end them. If I am with you, Fighting will be far more difficult. Even if Dog is more helpful, we can manage. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. No, you don't belong here. Yet, you came this far. And I'm not interested in remaining here any longer. I'll unlock the cage. Alright, let's get out of here. Very well. Lead on. Yes! Oh my god, took forever, dude. God has given you the giving you the in my footsteps perk. This perk grants you a bonus to sneak as well or stealth rather, as well as the ability to step lightly around place traps. Ah Nice. Awesome. <clears throat> oh man, he's fucking fast. Thank fucking heavens. And know what I'm going to do now? I make a brand new save. Yes, I will.
just in case I fucked up and I need a dog. Let, let's be honest here. Let's really be honest. I don't need fucking... Do I don't need dog. I am the courier. My female powers in this game will allure even the ghost harvesters. Besides, I have armor now. I, th I think I'll be pretty good. What I really need to do, though, is I need to... Oh, shit. Right. Hmm. All right, wait, 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 hold on a second. Police pistol. Oh, wow, a whole bunch of 75 mag. Ch ch check this out. Oh, uh, let me see, 66, 34. Uh, how much is this one? 40. Uh, it's not bad. Automatic rifle has the most, but I don't have a lot of ammo for it. Holograph, the hollow rifle. I think I might take the police pistol with me. Wait, huh? Why is it saying that? Look, 34 and then it goes down to 28. Hmm. I don't know about this. Kill this one. Yeah, if I can aim for his fucking head, that'll be great. Oh my god, of course. I got this. Bear Trap Fist. Interesting. I guess I'll be using that then. This has a bonus critical to limbs. Uh, Blood Sausage, Bear Trap Fist again. Huh. It's pretty cool. Can't believe the idiot swallowed his collar. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's crazy, I know. But it's, uh, it's a damn shame. Alright, let's do this. Brass, oh, let's do this way. Let me see. This is 33, 17, right? No, 26. So let me see. Damage will be. Damage is 33. It's going to be 40. It'll be 40, and DPS would be 26. Damage is 28. 38. Even if I did that, it wouldn't really do much. I think I'll hold on to this for now. Uh, let me see. Cosmic knife. Let's see. This one's actually doing pretty good damage. It's bonus limb damage, but I think this one does it too, right? Right, this is 25, and what's the DPS on it? 35? I don't know about this. Well, I guess for now I could like use this instead. Let's see, I, I need to go this way, I believe. No, wait. Where do I have to go now? Oh my god! No way! Hold on, where, where's Christine first? Alright, see, that's, see, that's way closer. Okay, so I need to, okay, I need to go this way then. Check what's in here. I don't think I've explored this area yet. And it's fucking nothing. I, I have dynamite I could I could try using. Or not dynamite, fucking I guess you could call it dynamite anyway, even though they're frag grenades. I mean like six of one half a dozen in the other, you know what I mean? I can't believe the 
idiot swallowed his gold. Oh! Won't get rid of me that easily. What? How am I being poisoned? Come on! There's- there, I can't be poisoned! I have a fucking poison resistance! I have no heart! What the hell? Why does it do that? I don't understand. It did that earlier when I was at Honest Hearts. Oh, you've been poisoned by the fucking uh, tunnelers. You know, I'm like, uh, I, I have, the heart regulates my fucking body. I don't have fucking poison. Maybe this is a different type of poison. I don't know. Oh boy, what the fuck is this? It's fucking insane. Wow, what in the fuck, man? The hell? Uh, I'll have a whole crap ton of junk food. I'll fucking take that. Hmm. Okay, what's up here? Ooh. Check this out, grenade box. Nice. More magnum rounds. Sweet. Hmm. Can't believe the idiot swallowed his collar. Would the Rebrita do anything here? I don't think so. <clears throat> of course not. Ah, oh, you notice there's a bear trap, but I didn't touch it earlier. You saw that, right? Check that out. So I wonder how many people actually did the god part and or just did dog. Hey boy, maybe I'll tear it off your arm, wear it on my neck. If you do that, I'm gonna have to fucking kill you. I'm just letting you know right now. Here, you can just jump off here. Hmm, that's weird. Hmm. What's this? This is like a heart thing. Ooh, okay. Turpentine? I, I don't really need that, but I'll take it anyway. Can't believe the idiot <laughs> swallowed his collar. Yeah, I can believe it though. This guy's a fucking asshole, I'll tell you what. So I need to go this way and make a right? Yeah, it looks like I need to take a right here. There's also some assholes over here too. Hologram terminal. Can I like talk to this guy over here? No. There's also a vending machine over here too, if I recall correctly. That pip boy. Maybe I'll tear it off your arm. Wear it on my neck. Oh! Damn! <laughs> yep. Killed him. <laughs> See, I don't need dog. I have skills of my own, son. I don't need that shit. Oh, did I already do this? Yeah, I did do this. I think that was the second one I did. What a say Oh, it is. Yeah. So it looks like I need to go this way. And maybe. No, that can't be right. Do I need to go this way? And then wh where do I go from here? Hold on a second. Looks like I need to go this way and then go this way up to the me medical district. Oh, okay, I see. Right. Whoa. It's funny that. Can't believe the oh, idiots. It's funny because this DLC so far has not been fr uh, lagging at all. It's kind of weird, you know what I mean? Like, I go to the DLCs and there's not many freezings, right? But when I go back to the Mojave, oh no, I'm sorry, there's gonna be tons of freezings. Like, that makes no fucking sense. I'll be honest, it really doesn't, but. Alright, since I wait, since it was like 10 minutes of fucking talking, it's just like the Ulysses bullshit, I'll have to, um, tweak it and add more time to this. Air tastes like copper or old world gold. Old world gold? That actually tastes like, I guess it tastes like metal, yeah, but. Where's the, uh. This is where I came in from earlier, right? I believe Don't so. Go through the gate to Wester Del Sol yet. Gather the others first. I wasn't. 
Relax, dumb fuck. It's your own fault you're here. Couldn't leave well enough alone. I don't give a shit. It's not like I'm gonna die here. I don't really care about this place. I'm just here because there's another area to explore, to kill, to savor my sadistic side and um, being a killer. Wish I had a stealth boy instead of this bear trap. I have a stealth boy if you want it. I don't really give a shit about my fucking stealth boys. I need to go here, I think. But it's your own. Oh, shut the fuck up. No one cares. Fault you're here. Couldn't ah, there we go. This, this is where I need to go. Treasure's mine, assholes. Aha. Awesome. Okay, okay. So you know what? I'll t I'll make I'll make one of these. I'm not gonna waste all my chips on that. Doctor's bag. Eh, I don't really need that right now. I'll be honest with you. Return. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Should I have a pack of cigarettes? Oh, no, wait, no, wait. Hold on a second. I have a pack of cigarettes on me? Yeah, I do. I don't know what this does, though. That's not what I want to do at all. What the hell does this do? I guess I could try it out and see what happens. Oh, I get it. Ah, return. So I can return stuff and get money for them. Ah. Now that's pretty Those good. machines feed on Sierra Madre chips. There's codes that unlock other things, too. I know. I can't wait for that. The medical district. Let's go find our... Let's go find Christine, a.k.a. Veronica's girlfriend. Lilith's calm speakers have aged poorly, like the Madre. Pre-war junk. The speakers emit a signal that'll start off your caller if you stay tall. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You can't switch them off like a radio. The shielded ones, I'm guessing you cannot do anything with them but just run past them. Oh, this is swell. This is good stuff. Good times. Good times to be having here. <clears throat> good times to be had here.